Hello, I'm Christoph Irwin with Positive Energy. I'm a building science consultant here in Austin, Texas. Here in this uh, Risinger Homes project in Austin. And uh, this was an Amot Plum design. And Benson Wood did the framing. Airwright did the mechanical install. We are here doing performance testing for their final energy inspection. And I uh, wanted to talk to you today about the importance of performance testing. It, is, uh, it can be obscured because it's a requirement by code to have this done, that it's also extremely important to make sure your clients are comfortable in your homes, that the amount of air that's being delivered, we are still mainly using air to heat and cool spaces at this point. Uh, the amount of air is sufficient and it's getting to the right places where the people are. You can see we've got a lot of glazing. Uh, we've also got a lot of smart architectural design to achieve a lot of glazing. What we've got is we've got ceiling fans that'll mix the air. We've got a really good enclosure. Uh, this wall over here is, it's glazed on the bottom, not on the top. This wall here, it could have been glazed all the way down, but instead it's got a half wall, so the glazing has been targeted. It's also very high quality performance spec glass. It's got an overhang, it's got some tree shading. So, you know, building science all comes together when you test it. It's all about what actually got built and not the recipe, not the checklist. It's really about measuring how much air, what temperature, where is it getting to in the building. And um, so we're going to get about testing that right now. What I'm holding here is a digital anemometer. So it's going to be measuring air velocity through this fan like that. In fact, that was 326 feet per minute. So it's just, it's not often used, but what this helps us do is to measure the throw from the diffusers in the house. So typically what's measured is how much air is coming through. And what we're doing now is we're talking about how fast and how far it comes out into the room. Because ultimately we want your client comfortable in this house. Okay, so here we are with two of the um, standard tools to measure airflow, right? This one. So often called a flow hood, it's a bolometer. This one is a residential sized. Um, we're using that to measure the flow out of these diffusers. Since they're slot diffusers, we can't capture it all at once, so we've been segmenting it. And to confirm that, we get the average velocity using this uh, anemometer, and we multiply the, the velocity by the area to get the flow. The two have been uh, agreeing surprisingly well, or uh, miraculously well, throughout the house. Um, we're engaged in a process of what's called air balancing right now. We're, we're making sure these supplies and returns, these slots in the building, are delivering the amount of air that's predict predicted on the load calculations, the manual J load calculations. Okay, so hello, here we are looking at, this is a blower door, and this is the reading, it's on right now, this is controlling the setting, the speed setting for this fan, it's a calibrated fan. This is measuring the enclosure leakage. So. All the air leaking through all the various cracks and seams and gaps throughout the building. Since we're holding it at this constant pressure, this fan is measuring all those leaks. So it's not just about collecting numbers and filling out paperwork when you're testing a home. What's important is testing a home accurately and then interpreting the numbers with an understanding that is well versed in building science and mechanical design principles. A good design is crucial, so is accurate testing. That's what Positive Energy is here to provide.